The proximal end of the femur is composed of a head, neck, as well as greater and lesser trochanters. The head of the femur forms the most proximal aspect of the femur. It articulates with the lunate surface of the acetabulum of the pelvis, forming a ball and socket synovial joint called the acetabulofemoral joint, or as it's more commonly known, the hip joint. The surface of the head of the femur is smooth and coated with hyaline cartilage, except in a medially located area known as the fovea, which is a depression for the attachment of the ligament of the head of the femur. Fovea in Latin means pit, which is exactly what this small bony indentation represents. The neck of the femur is distal to and continuous with the head of the femur. The neck of the femur connects the head with the body and is primarily covered by the fibrous joint capsule of the hip joint and its supporting ligaments. At the base of the neck of the femur are two femoral trochanters, the lesser trochanter and the greater trochanter. The lesser trochanter is a conical eminence of variable size, projecting from the medial aspect of the proximal end of the femur. It forms the attachment site for the distal attachment for the iliopsoas muscle. The greater trochanter is a large, roughly quadrangular, palpable prominence on the suprolateral aspect of the proximal end of the femur. It projects superiorly from the superior aspect of the junction between the neck and body of the femur. The greater trochanter is the site of attachment for the following muscles, the gluteus maximus, medius and minimus, the piriformis, the obturator internus, and the superior and inferior gemelli. The medial surface of the greater trochanter presents with a deep depression known as the trochanteric fossa. The tendon of the obturator externus muscle inserts into this fossa. The third trochanter is a variably present round bony projection adjacent to the proximal aspect of the gluteal tuberosity of the proximal end. When present, it functions to provide an additional attachment site for the ascending tendon of the gluteus maximus muscle. The intertrochanteric line is a ridge located along the anterior aspect of the junction of the femoral neck and shaft. It traverses between the apex of the greater trochanter and to a small tubercle on the distal part of the lesser trochanter, and functions as an attachment point for the joint capsule of the hip, the iliofemoral ligament, and the vastus medialis and lateralis muscles. Not to be confused with the intertrochanteric line, the intertrochanteric crest is a bony elevation on the posterior aspect of the proximal end which marks the transition between the neck and the body of the femur. It extends from the greater trochanter supralaterally to the lesser trochanter inframedially. It forms the posterior part of the attachment for the joint capsule of the hip. Approximately halfway across the intertrochanteric crest is a bony protuberance known as the quadrate tubercle. The quadrate tubercle forms the insertion site of the quadratus femoris muscle. If you found this quick anatomy or physiology video helpful, you'll enjoy our video tutorials even more. Click on the button and you'll see what I mean. We have hundreds of videos available to our premium members, not to mention all the fun quizzes, complete articles and atlas sections to solidify your knowledge. Click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy and physiology.